Hello everyone and welcome to another interesting game from round one of the Grand Chess Classic. Uh, here we have uh, a game between Vishwanathan Anand and uh, Ho Yifan. Now uh, I did promise you some photos uh, from round one as in the first video I didn't really have any. Uh, so let's just dive right into them. Uh, here is a photo of uh, Carlson shaking Caruana's hand. Uh, Carlson just arrived for the match. Uh, here we have a nice, a nice close-up of Magnus Carlsen all from the beginning of the game. Uh, here we have uh, also a very nice close-up of Fabiano Caruana. Uh, here we have, uh, this is the moment where Carlsen played that rook to h2 check, uh, the final check before uh, before they agreed to a draw in their yesterday's game. And uh, here we have also uh, a very nice photo of Carlsen and Vishwanathan Anand from the beginning of the tournament. Uh, couldn't really really make it full screen as it's kind of a, kind of a really a wide photo. Uh, and here from this game, uh, Anand versus uh, Ho Yifan, here we have a very nice close-up of uh, Vishwanathan Anand uh, and also a very nice close-up of Ho Yifan. So I do expect uh, to have a lot, of, a lot of great photos for every round and uh, this is all courtesy uh, of the Grand K Chess Classic uh, video production team. I will introduce them uh, in, in another video uh, as I will be making more videos. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, it's very interesting. Uh, last time uh, Anand and Ho Yifan played was in the Tata Steel Chess tournament in January, and uh, I did prepare here. Uh, these, these were the these are the final standings of the Tata Steel uh, Masters. Uh, uh, Anand won his game against Ho Yifan, and as you can see, Ho Yifan won only two and a half points out of thirteen. So it wasn't really a great tournament for her. Only five draws. Uh, all the other games were lost, uh, so she she was uh, last in this tournament. And uh, everyone said. Uh, you know, uh, only two and a half points out of 13. Uh, that's like, you know, she should give up on chess. You know, the people were saying, yeah, women can't play chess. Uh, there's really nothing. Uh, what was she thinking about coming there? Uh, but then again, uh, here are the final standings of the 2018 candidates tournament, uh, where you have uh, a grandmaster like Levon Aronian, and he won only four and a half points out of 14 games. So not really, not really. It's hardly a, a better score than two and a half points Yifan made uh, out of thirteen games. So no one was really saying uh, to Aronian, maybe, maybe you should give up on chess uh, altogether. Uh, something, just something I wanted to mention. So I'm very interested to, to see uh, what progress Yifan made and how did the, the Tata uh, <laughs> Tata Steel Masters experience uh, influence her uh, in her work and growth. So, uh, already in round one, having the black pieces against Vishwanathan Anand, uh, definitely definitely an exciting matchup. So, let's see how it went. And uh, I, I, I'm not going to spoil anything, but it's already an interesting game from the very first moves. So, uh, knight to f3 by Anand. Uh, we have knight to, knight to f6 and c4. So, the English opening. And uh, before I forget, as I know I'm going to forget it uh, till the end of the video, uh, I do want to thank everyone for asking so many questions. I'm sure the Grand K team will have uh, a, lot, a lot of questions to choose from, and I hope they uh, they manage to ask most of them. Uh, there were a lot of interesting questions. I even uh, have one here by uh, Anav Mahajan, uh, a question for Fabiano Caruana. Does he prefer the style of Mikhail Botvinnik or Mikhail Tal? Uh, now, I, of course, really enjoyed this question, as uh, I, I do hope it was influenced by my Tal versus Botvinnik series. So, you know, you, you guys are really uh, getting the hang of, uh, of this uh, whole chess idea. So yeah, uh, you will be able to watch watch their uh, official stream. Uh, I will also put a link in the description below where you can check that out. And all of these photos are from uh, a beautiful trailer made, made by the Grand Chess Classic team. So the first uh, thing you'll see in the description below is a link to that trailer. They will be making a trailer after every round. Uh, so do check it out. I, I highly recommend it as, uh, you know, even if you don't enjoy chess, uh, the, the video is, is so great. You know, the, the quality of the video is amazing. So do check it out. Okay, so getting back to the game. Uh, we have e6, uh, knight to c3, and now d5. Uh, e3, bishop to d6. Uh, b3 now preparing to develop the bishop to b2. Uh, castles, bishop to b2, and c5 now. And here uh, already Anand uh, goes for a very interesting variation, g4. So what's the idea? Uh, well, he does have uh, this bishop on b2, which could become very strong, uh, eyeing that, x-raying that g7 pawn. Uh, and if uh, Yifan were to capture this, it's not its not a mistake capturing this pawn. But after rook to g1, uh, forcing that knight to move, and then you're going to have problems. There's a bishop on b2, rook on g1. Uh, so probably d4, and after 
rook captures, pawn captures, knight, bishop captures, now your g7 pawn is hanging there. Uh, and it's it's not not an easy position if you're not prepared for this with black. Uh, probably best would be e5, but uh, opening up a discovered attack to the rook. But here white can actually decide to give up the exchange. Uh, and then after black goes f6, knight d3 simply captures, captures, and white uh, white can even uh, after after castling bring bring the rook uh, all the way to g1, and it could be could be a dangerous position for black. So obviously if Anand offered this, he does uh, have some ideas. Uh, I mean, not some, he probably has all of the ideas how to play this. So Yifan isn't interested in capturing this pawn. Uh, instead, uh, she decides to go for a pawn sacrifice of her own. Uh, she plays d4. Uh, e captures on d4, pawn captures on d4, and now knight captures on d4. So sacrificing a pawn, and now e5. Uh, knight to f5, bishop captures, g captures, and now knight to c6. So not only did she give up a pawn, but she also gave Anand uh, the open g file. Uh, why did she do it? Uh, well, w you'll just have to see. Uh, here, uh, Anand uh, plays bishop to g2. Now, I haven't seen the interview with Anand, or I don't even know if there was one. Uh, but uh, bishop to g2, uh, I don't know if it's if this is an imprecision. Uh, queen to f3 would be better here, because it uh, it would directly prevent uh, Yifan's idea. Uh, but uh, maybe Anand was going for uh, what you'll see in the game uh, straight from the start. So bishop to g2 by Anand, and now knight to b4. And this is why queen to f3 might have been better uh, first and only then develop the bishop. Uh, because now knight to b4 could have been met by simply castling. Uh, here uh, it's, it's impossible to castle. Uh, you could castle kingside. Uh, but then after knight to d3, this knight is simply a monster. Uh, you're not going to get rid of it from d3. The bishop is attacked on b2. Once you defend it, uh, you can even go e4 and uh, all, all hell will break loose. Now this bishop now uh, targets the h2 pawn. This knight, when it moves, the queen is coming to h4. Uh, this would be an extremely dangerous position and the Yifan is a great attacker. So th this, uh, this would be very uh, difficult to play for Anand. Uh, so after knight to b4, uh, Anand now decides to make a counter blow. He plays queen to e2. Now Anand, Anand sacrifices the exchange. Uh, so knight to c2, this comes with check. Uh, king to d1, attacking the knight. Knight captures through rook on a1 and bishop captures. So okay, Anand, uh, Yifan sacrificed the pawn, but now Anand sacrificed the exchange. So, you know, everyone, everyone wants to play <laughs> for the win and play, they play interesting chess. Uh, queen to d7, going for the f5 uh, pawn, and now knight to e4. Uh, with uh, the idea that, of course, if you capture the pawn, then uh, white will capture the bishop uh, on, on d6. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Yifan captured on f5, Anand captured the bishop, and here Yifan played queen to b2, uh, and this was checkmate. Now, of course, this didn't happen. I just wanted you <laughs> to see why you can capture this. Uh, after queen captures on f5, of course, you can't grab the bishop. Uh, so knight captures on f6 with check, queen captures on f6, and now bishop captures on b7, grabbing another pawn. Uh, rook to d8, and now uh, king to c2. Uh, rook to e8, and uh, it's 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 of no use to go something like bishop to b4 to pressure this d2 pawn. White can always push d3, and, and everything is fine. Uh, so instead, rook to e8, uh, and now bishop to c3, adding more protection to the d2 pawn and uh, not allowing this bishop any bishop to b4 ideas in the future. Uh, bishop to c5 uh, with a double attack on the f2 pawn, uh, here f3, and now bishop to d4. Uh, rook to e1, uh, we have g6, queen to e4, uh, king to g7, improving the position, and now bishop to d5. Uh, and although uh, Yifan still is up the exchange, her rooks aren't really all that useful. Uh, look at uh, Anand's pawn chain here and the bishop on top of the pawn chain. It's, uh, it's Im impenetrable. Uh, so th those rooks are never going to see any action in this game. Uh, queen to b6, uh, we have b4 now. Uh, f5, queen to d3, and now bishop captures on c3. d captures on c3 uh, to improve uh, to improve this uh, pawn structure, and now the rook will also be able to, to use the d file. Uh, queen to d6, now comes a4, uh, a5, and now king to b3. Uh, rook to b8, b5 now, uh, queen, to f, uh, queen to c5, and now h4. And uh, now Anand will try to break open the queen side. Uh, we have rook to d8, uh, h5, king to f, uh, king to f6, and now h captures. h captures on g6, and now queen to e3. 
uh, with the idea of exchanging queens. So even though Anand is down the exchange, uh, he doesn't mind exchanging queens. And um, uh, Yifan goes for it, queen captures on e3. It's uh, an interesting idea, might be for something like rook to d5. Uh, to, to grab back some of the pawns uh, because your rooks really aren't doing all that much and after pawn captures queen captures with check but after c4 and queen d6 uh, with some queen b4 ideas queen c3 and uh, the material is equal now but it's actually Anand who has uh, two two connected pass pawns so th this would be winning for Anand. Uh, so after queen to e3 queen captures and now rook captures and rook to d6. Uh, here we have rook to e1, uh, rook to c8, and uh, rook to h1. Uh, king to g7, uh, not allowing this uh, rook to come into the game. Uh, king to c2, and now uh, g, uh, g5. It's, uh, it wouldn't be really useful to play something like uh, rook to d8, rook to h8 to exchange rooks, as if you exchange rooks then uh, two, pass two connected pass pawns uh, protected by the bishop would be a, a very scary position for Yifan. Uh, probably even winning for Anand. Uh, rook to d1, now king to f6, king to d3, rook to b6, uh, rook to h1, king back to g7, not allowing the rook to infiltrate, uh, rook to g1, king back to f6, uh, king to e3, rook to d6, uh, rook to b1, uh, rook to b6, uh, king to e2, so there's really no way for either side to make progress, uh, and uh, the engine agrees, the engine evaluates this position as 0.00, so a dead draw. Uh, king to g6, king to f2, king to f6, uh, rook to h1, and here king to g7, and rook to e1. Uh, it, this might even be a threefold repetition, but uh, either way, they agree to a draw, this is move 48. So... Uh, a, a great start for Yifan and uh, a, a nice game by both of them. Uh, Anand already going aggressive on move 6 with that g4 move. Uh, Yifan declining it, playing a pawn sacrifice of her own and then Anand countering with a nice exchange sacrifice. So all in all an excellent game and uh, you know it uh, it's really going to be nice that uh, uh, all, all the games, uh, if all the games will be like this. And uh, one other thing uh, I'm really looking forward to is uh, seeing uh, how Aronian's experience influenced him uh, in the candidates uh, and how will he play the Grand K Chess Classic. As he is the Grand K Chess Classic 2017 champion, so basically he came here to defend his title. So we'll see. Uh, Yifan definitely, uh, <laughs> I mean not definitely, Yifan certainly did improve uh, after her uh, score in the Tata Steel Masters. Uh, I will show it one more time. Here we have two and a half out of 13. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll see how she'll do uh, in this tournament. So yeah, uh, I will do a couple of more videos. So in case I forgot something, I will probably, I will definitely mention it in, in some of my other videos. And like I said, I highly recommend you check out the Grand Gate Chess Classic official uh, video about round one. Uh, it's a very short trailer, but the, I mean, the, the, the quality of, of the, of the video is amazing so do check it out and i would like to thank uh, nicola uh, paolucci and uh, tony mo at guitar for a contribution to my channel thank you a lot i really appreciate it as usual you can check all my previous videos here thank you all for watching and uh, i will see you soon uh, probably with another video from the grand chess classic thank you all